Someone mentioned that this looked like an artichoke, so I call it the artichoke pattern. Wire cut, Indian inspired. And this is a curious one of Japanese hakame, updated contemporary, again, wire cut. A musical theme as I'm learning piano. Art Deco. Great firing on that one. Oh, that's salt. Soda that's best. I've been putting numbers on cups. And upcoming is going to be a luck of uh, gravy boats, and it's an English inspired idea from the Legion Pottery. The gravy boat with that kind of a handle, but with my slant on it. Lucky seven, seven's my lucky number. So we're going to do seven on some cups, other pieces. The letter C at a slant. C cup. Lucky seven at a slant. Goes back to leech pottery. Again, hock me. I use six glazes and I've intentionally selected glazes that have a wide range in the soda kiln, but depending on where they're stacked from high to low, depending on in front of a port ones that are affected by the soda as, and that's a good example of seven bowl of the variation of one glaze. Although I'm always on the hunt for one more glaze. This is a series that relates to my music. I did a series on composers. That would have to be a Dylan one, more contemporary. It's a recent, uh, it's called a double server. It's meant to be a centerpiece. The M&M series. I did a series for the countertop that called them compact kitchen countertop pieces and the, the fish dish shape, I call it, which I've been working on for the last 25 years. And these are all thrown and altered in various ways. With some inlaid doodads, colored bits of fired porcelain, 